Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this awesome butter that you can add to your regimen to help you in your hair growth journey. Now, I promise you guys that with this butter, your hair will never ever be dry again. And not a single hair is going to fall out or break if you're using this consistently because your hair will remain moisturized for a prolonged period of time. And this can help you a lot in your um, high growth journey when it comes to like retaining length and just having strong thick hair so if you're interested please watch and also watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it so to begin with we are going to need three double spoons of flax seeds now flax seeds are high in protein and this helps to thicken your hair and also it has like this slimy consistency which also makes it really moisturizing for the hair so if you don't have enough flax seeds guys use what you have um but three double spoons will be what i would recommend so next we're going in here with some cloves cloves again can aid in just strengthening your hair which again can prevent it from breaking i know it has the opposite effect for some people some people have said that it's quite drying for their hair but if you use it in this way, I promise you guys, it's not going to make your hair really dry. It's not going to break or anything. Um, so just keep on watching to find out exactly how to make this butter. So I use about one tablespoon of the cloves. And that's because that's all that I had. But if you have more, please feel free to use maybe two tablespoons or three tablespoons. So I added some water, pop the whole thing on the stove and I'm just boiling it. So you know this is ready when it starts to thicken up. So you will know that um, your flax seeds are properly infused. So we're gonna go ahead and strain it while it's still nice and hot. It just makes the process just that little bit easier. Now, after we've strained it, we're just going to just allow it to cool down essentially and then move on to the next part of the um, DIY. So this will be just combining some oils and butters to be able to make the butter. So I will be using some shea butter. I got this from Amazon. Um, but if you have shea butter from the real source, guys, it's much better, honestly. The, uh, the shea butter that you get from Amazon, I'm not like, you know, talking bad or anything. It's so different from the actual shea butter that comes from Africa itself. Um, so what you guys get in my products that I sell on my website is the real thing, not the one from Amazon. But anyways, I'm using this one here just to show you guys um, how to make the butter essentially. So use some shea butter and completely, to be completely honest, I just eyeballed this so um, you can kind of gauge the quantities, right? Um, I'm sorry that I can't give you an exact measurement, but you can kind of see roughly what I'm working with. So next I'm going in here with some uh, mango butter. Mango butter is so good, honestly. It is super, super uh, moisturizing and it makes your butter really nice and fluffy in the end, which I think is absolutely amazing. So I added about one tablespoon or maybe like one and a half. Then I'm going in here with some olive oil. Now you can use avocado oil for this um, if you haven't got um, olive oil. Avocado oil again is very, very good as well because it's so moisturizing, it's very nourishing for your strands in general. So um, yeah, you can use rapeseed oil as well if you don't have um, olive oil or avocado oil. Um, or even coconut oil like melted coconut oil but it's just that it might make your butter just a little bit thicker um so you can add more olive oil if you're looking for it to be a little bit kind of runnier in consistency um but if you want it to be like really thick then do not add as much of the um olive oil or avocado oil so i just pop the whole thing on a stove and just doing the double boiler method until everything has completely melted and is well combined <music> Okay guys, so here you have it. I just took that off the stove and it is pretty much ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead now and add in the um, the flax seeds gel um, that I made earlier um, with the cloves. So we're going to add that to it and combine it and then we're gonna pop it in the fridge or freezer and sorry, not the fridge actually, in the freezer and just allow it to um, 
solidify a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and whip it but i'm going to show you guys um how to do this in just a little bit so this is it here after it's sat in the fridge for a little bit you can see that the um gel is kind of sitting at the bottom and then we have the um, share button all of that good stuff at the top but that's okay so you just want to go ahead and use a, your hand mixer and just you know whip the whole thing until everything is combined now if you're noticing that you have a slightly kind of lighter um, consistency or maybe it's splitting what I mean by splitting is like if you're noticing that the um, water sorry the oil is um, splitting from the water essentially you kind of get what i mean right how water and oil do not mix like if that happens just pop it back in the freezer and just allow it to um solidify a little bit and then whip it again and that will just make it a little bit a little bit easier to combine so i'm just gonna keep whipping this until i have the desired consistency now we're showing you guys here how liquid mine was looking at this point and i wasn't quite happy with that so i popped it in the freezer and then um, allowed it to sit again for maybe another five minutes and this is the consistency that it had and I'm gonna go ahead and whip it again until I have like that nice thick kind of fluffy consistency um, that I was going for So this is the consistency that I ended up with and I'm going to go ahead and add in the extra bits that I need. So I'm just adding some um, fragrance oil here just to give it a nice scent and also I'm adding some preservatives and this is just to keep it um, so that it can last a little bit longer. And again guys you can eyeball this but this is about how much of the preservatives I went in with for this amount of butter that I was making. Um, it's important that you add preservatives guys it just helps the butter last longer like I said earlier so I'm going to go ahead and just whip it again just to make sure everything is combined now you can also add essential oils if you want to so rosemary essential oil is a very good one that I love to use um, tea tree essential oil as well is a good one not only has you know um, high growth abilities but also it has anti uh, microbial properties which is very good I just keeping your scalp free from bacteria and all of that nastiness um, so you can also add essential oils essentially so um, after I whipped it until you know it was I felt like it was properly combined I'm just going to um, just go ahead and pop it in a little container and then you know and then that's it it's, it's nice and done Okay guys, so here is the final consistency. So I was happy with this here. But what I want to say as well is the fact that when you allow this to sit, it thickens a bit more. So just make sure that your final consistency is not too thick because it then becomes extremely thick, if that kind of makes sense. Um, obviously, if you want it to be just a little bit lighter, then maybe just not have it as thick as this. So I'm just going to transfer it into this uh, jar and I'm just going to use it to store and also to apply to my hair. Now, the way that you would apply this to your hair, guys, will be the same way that you would use any butter. So you can use it as a sealant. So you apply your leave-in conditioner and then instead of using an oil you can use this to seal the moisture in your hair now this also is really good when it comes to just giving your hair the nice curls that it needs you know and sort of just restoring the um, moisture and your hair strands to what it should normally be like so you can use this like i said as a sealant you can also use it as a people treatment so something that you can apply to the hair prior to um to shampooing just to prevent it from getting too dry i have actually uh, recommended this to a friend i actually made it for her and she was using it to take down her braids and you know when your braids have been on your hair for so long and at the bottom is a bit tangled and all of that stuff she uses it as well to soften the hair underneath and that just helps to you know get the braids out safely without her snapping her hair or anything 
so it's quite good in that regard and yeah i do hope that you guys will go ahead and try this out and if you do please please let me know if you like it and what your results were essentially so that brings me to the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did please thumbs up the video and also subscribe the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching guys until next time bye